I <laughs> gonna have to open space lucky mass appeal. Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of lucky songs recently, but I I just got into him. Uh, lucky and baby spoon. I just got into. All uh, thanks to uh, Blue Shark Law. You know what I'm saying? He a he funny guy. He a funny trainer. Yeah, but um, he put me on to Bruce and Lucky. Wait, not he put me on to Lucky and Baby Smooth, and now I've been just looking, listening mad songs and shit. Alright, let's get to it. Yeah, what's up? It's Lucky, and he told me to say I'm at Mass Appeal, last of the real. Yeah, it's Lucky, and he told me to say I'm at Mass Appeal. It's never like cause there's still no popping scene in Chicago. It was like um it was really just that thing at Harold Washington Library downtown, U Media. That's what people a lot of people like started meeting up at. Like a lot of rappers like got their foot in it. Like people was doing poetry there. But a lot of the rappers wasn't even rapping, we were just going there for like just to be there, you know. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool though. I grew up like look, if like if like rap was like basketball, Lil Wayne like my Michael Jordan, you know. So besides that um, oh, what well, artist really made me want to start rapping was Chance, though. Cause I, started, I used to see him rap like, at rapping. the library. That's what really made me really? start writing all the time. Besides that, it was really just like Lil Wayne. I was like one of those kids that only listened to, only listened to Lil Wayne until I got to high school. Like, I was only listening to Lil Wayne, like, like faithfully. Like, that's all. That's Chief Keefe is like a big inspiration to me. But I never wanted to make music like him, never wanted to live like him. I just really liked like how he didn't give a fuck about everything when he was young. That's what's up. Yeah, I was really only listening to Chief Keef from the drill movie, and then La Herbs. La Herb was pretty fire, or G Herbo now. But yeah, mm-hmm. that was crazy. I used to really Chicago was really popping. That's why it's so weird that like a lot of people. It's not weird to me, but like a lot of dudes be like still trying to do the drill thing. It's like you gotta just let that R.I.P. Like for real. When I was like seventeen, eighteen, like I didn't know, I didn't know what to call it. Like I didn't know, like we didn't know what to call it. But I don't really don't like SoundCloud rap. Like that's why I really, I mean, it's cool, but I separate myself from that because it's like I really got songs with like FK Twigs, King Cruel, you know, like Pharrell used to tweet my music. Like yeah. Scott Venner was my first manager. Like I'm totally not SoundCloud rap, and I can actually rap. He above so, like, that though. Really, I was just good at telling stories. Yeah, but the thing is, Lucky can be. Real cool at times, but like there was one album I listened to it was recent. It was um, was it twenty seventeen album? Like he has some real cool stuff on there. The song was like three minutes, four minutes long, or like his now, which would be like two minutes max or some shit. But I, I can probably find it here or something like that. Alternative track. That's what it was. This one, uh, three minute songs and above. Four, his first song was four minutes, and now I don't think he even had a song that is above two and a half. This one was very cool though, and I could tell. Like, how you gonna make a four minute song and not be, you know, saying some shit, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying, like. Hmm. Like that's what it was. I was just good at writing stories and like, like I didn't really even know that at the time. But like people came back like start telling me about that. Like, but that's what it was. I mean, I won't say it's corny. I just don't like. <laughs> it's just like the just the way I was singing it. It just sounds <laughs> so funny, bro. Insane. I don't fuck with Xanax. Then he stopped that. But it's like it make you. F- I remember this. This is why I started getting into Xanax, cause some terrible big big homies. I was just with them. I popped the Xanax. I just remember feeling so free, cause like that's why people get in tr- so much trouble off Xanax, cause it really make you like you don't think about consequences, like really, like. So it's just, and me, I was just overboard. I was like, this shit is fun. Think about it. I was like, people was like, I was like getting recognized. I was like 16, like I was doing like. Like, I was getting like decent money for shows and shit around Chicago. This before I started leaving the city. 
So yeah, fuck it, I'm just lit. I was just, I was, was kind of comfortable. <laughs> I was just, cause me, I thought myself was just, I thought I was like, you gonna do drugs forever and it's gonna just work out. But no, that's not how anything works out for nobody. So mm -hmm. I really just had to learn like, like I had to, I was always my own person, but I had to just learn how to be my own person, like, and not depend on a pill or something like that. But I still have fun, but it's just like, I don't. I don't go crazy like I used to. I just don't. That's good though. But <clears throat> even on lean, heavy though, and I feel like that's kind of like that. It got to backfire or someday or something like that. But I make music that I I promise to Jesus Christ. Like, I did not, like, when I made our turn, no matter how people say, like, it's, like, legendary that a 16-year-old made it, body high, all of that. Like, I make it, and I hear it's good in the studio, but I'm done listening to it. I did not listen to that shit. Like, I really didn't listen to it. I didn't ride in the car listening to it. That's exactly why I wasn't rapping fast, because, like, people were going to be laughing at me. Like, I don't know why. Like, it was just weird. Like, I always been like that. I just put out Watch My Back last month, my favorite project. My favorite project, hands down. Cause it's Watch like, when I dropped I my project before this, people were like, oh, this is cool, but like, you can't do the alternative trap stuff no more. And I was like, yes, I can. So I just put like, a mix of everything on one. Like, Watch so my I just, back. I really love this project. And people really like the project too. It's going crazy. So oh, wait. Yeah, I appreciate I everybody fucking with it. I'm looking forward to, I'm really just looking forward to it. I ain't really listening to it like that, but music. like. like Cause I I was doing some at the time and I was listening to it. I wasn't really paying attention. I need to listen to that again. And to continue releasing the best music. Like everybody releasing good music is cool, but I mean I can do SoundCloud rap. Um, I can do regular rap. The like Earl Sweatshirt, the Goat. I can you know. Like, when I rap like Earl, it's fire, bro. Like I love rapping like Earl, like like that type of style. Like that's my favorite. That's why that's my that's getting back to my roots type shit. Like rapping over those gritty ass beats type shit. That's what it is. Damn. But that's the, that's the good thing about Lucky though. He got so many styles. He can uh, do whatever flow he want. He can switch it up. And, Stuff like that. That's what made me get into him. Shout out Master Phil. Subscribe to them. Like, comment, you know what I'm saying? Share.